what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to create this simple counter animation inside head film express so we're going to start with zero and then it's we're going to count up to eight thousand because we reach more than eight thousand subscribers so that's really amazing so um yeah let's uh, create this counter animation open up head film and we're going to create a new composite shot bring this to counter so the duration to maybe around four seconds and click on okay Let's create a new plane layer. I'm going to call this background and uh, we can use any color as our background. We use this blue color and click on OK. Let's create a new text layer. Select the text tool and type in one on your keyboard. Just control A to select your text. Go to the text tab and change your font style. I'm all just going to increase the font size to 150. And once you do that, just have to then uh, type hit enter key on a keyboard and type two hit enter again type three enter four enter five and just repeat this process for seven eight nine and zero so let's see what we have so far all right so once you have something similar then you can again select your text tool and you just select all of your text hit ctrl c to copy it and on after the zero we hit enter again and hit ctrl v on your keyboard to paste uh, the same uh, text so now uh, we're, we're gonna have something like that then what you're gonna do is start off with zero so we're gonna find zero it is right over here let's put it in the center and uh, let's create let's drag in this background layer put it on top and rename this to mask and just to differentiate it from background i'm going to apply the fill color on it let's apply it let's go to transform decrease the opacity so that we can see the text unlink the scale and decrease the scale like that now we can just position our text in the center like that then what you're going to do is we're going to create a simple animation so let's just go to text transform let's move 10 frames forward create a position keyframe let's move to two second mark and change the position I want to display 8000 so my first letter will be eight. First number will be eight i'm going to select this these two keyframes kind of the keyframes to manual bezier going to value graph and just create a graph like this Right, so once you have that then what we can do is go back to mask and uh, set the scale back to 100 so i'm going to hit ctrl r on scale to reset it then on the mask layer make sure it's selected then select the rectangular mask tool and just create a mask around your text which is in the center uh, maybe i should just expand this a little bit and i'm um, also going to feather this so let's just leave it as it is for the moment now um to create the animation uh, we are going to use the set matte effect but it's not going to work uh, so we just have to right click on the mask and click on make composite shot i'm going to rename this to mask comp and select these two options click on ok let's go back to our counter composite shot in the effects now we can search for the set matte effect and apply it on our text set the source layer to mask comp set the blend to subtract and also click on the inward option finally we can hide the mask comp we don't want that to be visible all right so here we have our text um make sure that the mask opacity is set to 100 percent let's go back there we have it so we have something like that as you can see uh, right at the edges our edges are pretty sharp so i want to apply some feathering on it so let's go back to mask comp go to mask shape and let's just increase the feather strength a bit be around 14 pixels yeah there we go so we have something like that then we need to create more numbers so for that we'll just copy the text layer and the mask comp so select these two layers ctrl c and ctrl v copy and paste let's create a new point layer i'm going to pair in these two comp layers to the new point 
and using the new point layer i can change their position like that so this 90 and on the text layer we can go to transform double click on the second keyframe and we need to change this to zero right like that and we can also select these two keyframes and i uh, want to move five frames forward and or maybe seven frames forward and i'll just start the animation from that point so we are going to have something like that and we can just repeat this process as many times as we want so i'm going to duplicate this one more time uh, not duplicate just Control c and Control v copy and paste it create a new point layer I'm gonna call this new point two make sure that these two layers are parented to new point two layer go to transform of new point change the position just put in 90 over there and let's go to the text layer transform and again we have the zero all we have to do is just move it seven frames forward like that again copy and paste it create a new point layer let's call this new point three pair in these two layers the comp and the text to new point three go to transform and set the position to 90 go back to text transform and just uh, move these forward by seven frames so now here is our overall animation there we go that's how easy it is to create this counter animation and hit film now to center this up you can just select all of this so now we can unselect the background control m and call this final and let's go back to counter and we can just center this up so that's it guys that's how we can create this counter animation oh and one more thing we can go to final comp and make sure you enable the motion blur on all these text layers select these text layers and enable motion blur on it and it's gonna look and it's going to look much much better with motion blur so yeah that's it that's how you can create this animation i hope uh, this video was helpful if it was don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.